All right. So now we're going to talk about creating project artifacts. So we know that projects create deliverables, and there can be interim or final products at the end of the project scope. So projects are also going to create artifacts throughout the life cycle. So the artifacts are going to be your project management plan and all of the sub plans that go into that. It's going to be your scope statement. It's going to be any, you know, status reports. All of those types of, of things are going to be part of, you know, that are part of communication, especially in your project, are going to be considered artifacts. So in this topic, we're going to talk about uh, determining what the requirements are for managing the artifacts in your project, and also validating that your information is kept up to date and is accept accessible, and then also continually assessing the effectiveness of those artifacts. So is your status report tailored to the right audience? Is it, is it giving the right information to the right person at the right time? As an example, no specific tools or deliverables in this topic or in this section. So some characteristics of project artifacts. Um, so number one, an artifact, again, like we talked about a little bit, is any, any document that is related to the management of a project. So your project team is going to create and maintain these artifacts during the life of the project to allow reconstruction of the history of the project and to benefit other projects. So artifacts typically are considered what we call living documents and they're going to be updated throughout the project. It's not just a typically, not just say, you know, fill it out one time and you're done, paperwork kind of thing. It's more of a, you know, you're going to continue to update it as the project changes. Um, and, you know, if there's any changes to requirements or scope or anything like that, you're going to continue to update those. Um, so... Project artifacts can include, but obviously are not limited to, um, any specific acceptance criteria, your assumptions, your business case, your change requests, your documented constraints, lessons learned, all of that, minute, minutes of status meetings, your project charter, your slide decks. Anything that you create for the project that's a document is going to be an artifact. And configuration management, so we talked about this a little bit in a previous section as well, but here is kind of where that's going to come into play. So configuration management is basically a tool you're going to use to manage changes to a product service or service based on or being produced that's going to, um, as well as any changes to project documents. So um, it's basically like that collection of procedures that are going to be used to track your artifacts and monitor and control changes to them. Configuration management can be a subsystem um, of the configuration system and, I'm sorry, a subsystem of the configuration system is the change control system. And when combined with integrated change control, configuration management is going to provide basically a standardized and an effective way to manage any approved changes and baselines within the project. So configuration control is going to evolve uh, specifying the deliverables and the processes. And your change control is going to involve identifying and recording and also supervising changes to your project baseline. 